This video is about information skills, and it's intended for both instructors and their students. Um, and I'm telling you about information skills because I, as a researcher and an instructor, have first-hand experience with information skills. Um, and I've used Google a lot, but Google uh, provides you with a lot of information, most of which is not relevant to the topic that you're interested in. And if a student writes a thesis, they want scholarly materials. Now, you may uh, ask, uh, don't instructors know this already, uh, that uh, you know, there are specific databases for searching? Um, they might know it, but they have no experience using them, in my experience. Uh, the teachers simply use Google. Uh, now, the, uh, the, the big benefit of scholarly databases is that they have a great filtering capacity. Take, for example, a topic that's important in my field, the relation between intelligence and video games. If you type in intelligence and video games in Google, you get about 11 million uh, results. However, only the first 850 of those you can view. So you don't know what you're missing. You need filters. What you need is a field-specific database. And in my uh, area, that database is PsychInfo. If you type in intelligence and video games in PsychInfo, you get about 13,000 uh, results. But all of those are scholarly papers, because PsychInfo will only uh, yield um, uh, references to uh, psychological uh, publications. And then you can use the filtering capacity of PsychInfo to, to, to look for reviews, uh, mathematical models, meta-analysis. Um, those are types of uh, papers you could look for. You can also use as criteria sub-areas within psychology, for example, uh, my area of cognitive processes and language and uh, memory. As you can tell, a search like this has great benefits. Um, for students, the benefits are that the search becomes much more effective. They only uh, get those materials, those uh, resources that are relevant to the topic of their paper. Um, that means that they produce a better product. For the instructor, um, it means that uh, it will be less time to evaluate the product and the end product will be better and every instructor of course wants good products. Um, so how can students and instructors acquire these skills? Well they can go to the uh, library website and they find modules there that uh, talk about uh, information skills and instructors can select those uh, modules that they deem particularly relevant to their course. So my advice would be to instructors to direct their students to these databases and to these modules so that the students can acquire the search skills that will lead to better student products.